What up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Armando, back at it again with another video. First and foremost, God bless every single one of you, richly and abundantly, in the name of Jesus Christ. So today, uh, we got a new guest here, it's actually Amber's sister, so you can introduce yourself. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is, so they're sisters, you know, um, but she's gonna explain what we're doing today, because she does a lot better explanation than I do, obviously, so. Yep, in fact. <laughs> so today we have, uh, Candy Reads. We're gonna be doing our uh, five inch. These are five inches. I'm gonna get these at the craft store. That's where I got these from. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. I think. Or two ninety nine. I think it's two ninety nine. One of those two. And then you're gonna need to get some. Uh, what is it called? Floral wire. So you can go into yep. like the floral section of Walmart. Mm -hmm. Dollar. This is like a dollar and thirty nine. Yep. And we got delicious lots of candy. candy. Lots of candy. Deliciousness. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna select your variety of candy, can yep. be any kind, but the most important thing is they must have the twists. They must have the twists on them. Little things. Perfect. Yep, just like okay. that. Now. Well, some of them don't have, well. Well, like these ones. To get started. It's on okay. You are gonna take your wire, and mine is brand new, so I'm actually gonna unwrap mine. Yeah, mine is too. Mine's done. Okay. All right, so take one of the any candy that's twisty on Some it. Strawberry, because I love strawberry. All right, so it's important that you take it and you place this right over the ring here. Right over it. And then you take your wire. It's very simple. You just wrap the candy once or twice, and then, actually, I gotta twist that back in, just so I can have pull. Cause it's actually good that you have this, cause then you can pull it. Um, so, sorry about that. So, wrap it once or twice around, then you go underneath the, the ring, pull, go around, back underneath the ring, pull, and then that's it. Now, simple. Another candy with your twist. Same thing. Now you might go in the other direction once, twice wrapped around, and then go through your ring, pull. Pull it nice and snug so that the candy can actually really, uh, it's really on that ring there. Okay, and then you just pull that there. Okay. Yeah, if you want to be like me and do it the rookie way. Oh, yeah, it's way cup. easier. Yeah. Me and Raya, right, Raya? Oh, High five to that yeah. one. Well, Leave the professional stuff to the professional, huh? Comment. <laughs> oh, comment down below what you guys think would you guys think would be easier. Comment down below. Oh, I yes. believe it's easier just to do this because then you can really get a hold of it and then pull it snug. Because otherwise you're just gonna be using your fingers and pulling wire. So I've actually done this one time with her. Um, I have too. It's actually really fun. I like it. So this is a good thing you could do with your kids if you have any kids and or brothers and sisters, you know, your family members. We could do it any age, actually. Like. Yeah, you could do it with an old person too. Not the <laughs> 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 parents. It's an old person. Parental supervision is always required. Now we do have a couple of these pieces of candy here that don't have it. So what I would recommend is if you don't have it all, just kind of twist it first. That way. We have something to hold on to. Or excuse me, to wrap around. So like what I do, because I like to cut mines. Um, I like to cut mines. <laughs> and then um, what I do, I hold the candy like with my with my finger right here. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> so I hold it with the finger. And I wrap it around like this, right? Oh, sorry, it's falling off, sorry. Stage fright. Um, okay, I wrap it around once, twice, and then I go underneath. So, my opinion, I think it's like much easier. Yeah, it's way better. Honestly, you know, sometimes the professional can learn something from the rookies, you know? Well, try it out however you'd like, but I personally believe that is easier with this because then you can actually yeah, use this to brace and pull off of 
supposed to just using your fingers. Because you really want it snug, because otherwise you won't have any bunch to take candy. You're going to end up with a rat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, the other thing I wanted to actually add in there, uh, you cannot go along one side of the ring. I like to kind of hop back and forth. So if I place it first on the inside, and the next one I'll place it on the outside. Yeah, and if you're like me who got small fingers, short fingers, because I'm a very short man. So again, another candy here, so I'm just going to twist it that way. Y'all get the hang of it eventually. Yeah, that's super easy. It's very simple. Mondo, what do you call your subscribers? I, well, I, dang. I had a lot of names for them, honestly. Because throughout the years, I kind of changed my content, so I don't really have... We'll call them Brothers and Sisters of Christ. Okay. My oh. Brothers and Sisters of Christ. Oh, no, Mondo. <laughs> 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 Alright, Mondo. Yeah. This is a good question for you. When are you even gonna get Amber a promise ring? And don't even know what you're gonna say. A promise ring? Yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah. I, I have a good special day for her. I can't wait, honestly. I can't wait either. So, what do you want for Christmas? Like, what's the most thing? Like, what what is something that you want to have for Christmas? <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> actually real amazing um maybe See. soon i'll post some videos of her riding her horse well our son you guys have actually met his horse and one of his youtube videos yeah yeah one year old okay mom the word easy years in five years i see myself in five years running a ministry for god you know god's gonna um bless me with this bless us with this ministry um to where i'm gonna be able to you know gather you know the body of christ and 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 in unity together and preach the word of God and you know go out there witness to people and you know just spread the gospel to everyone because the gospel is beautiful and the gospel is life without the gospel there's no life I'm telling you guys you know truly you know Jesus Christ died for us 2,000 years ago on that cross for the sin of the world and without him we're all damned I'm sorry to say so we need Jesus we do and um you know the gospel's literally the most beautiful thing in life it's the most precious most valuable thing in life so I truly see uh, in five years. I'm shoot. Hopefully, before five years. I mean, I feel like in five years it'll be it'll be going. You know, like it'll just continue. I'm just. I really look forward to it. How many kids do you want in the future life? One. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, 
You know what? Uh, whatever, whatever God places. But I, honestly, I, I don't mind. I love kids. You know, I mean, you I don't, don't really have look like a kid person, but I love kids. I do. I oh yeah, kids. he's such. Good, he's so good with kids. Like you see, I'm a kid, right? <laughs> he makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he makes everybody laugh. Him and his. Oh, sorry, that was right in your ear. I was saying. Wait, okay. I want when I get older. I really want eight kids. Eight. Uh huh. Eight? I want a big sandwich. I want a big family. <laughs> Eight. Look at him running around the house. I'm going to go. Like, oh my. I want probably, I'd say, like seven or eight kids. I don't know exactly how many. I don't have a number, but I do want to have a good family. A big family. I want a big family, whether that be. Assortment of my own and adopted children. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely do want adopt. There's a lot of kids you need to There is a, a lot of a oh, bunch of kids and all. And if you guys met, when you guys meet God, what is the first thing you're going to say to him? Like, what is the Thank first you. thing? Mm. Thank you. Okay. After I get off my knees and cry, after I get up from that, I, just I just want to give him a kiss and a hug and I love him. I do. I, uh, I, I say you. thank you. I love you. I worship you. Yeah. I, I love you. I, there's no words that can you just really? There's no word like It's gonna come from the Holy Spirit. You won't even know. It's gonna be like, it's just gonna be you guys don't even gonna know what Just my heart. <laughs> my heart. If you could have one thing in the world, what would you wish for? A horse. Or, or one thing in the world. I wish for one thing. In the world. If I could have one thing in the world, what would it be? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, say it. My ministry. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? Salvation. Oh, I mean, no, that's I not really in the world. That's in. No, I, know. I mean, that's in eternal. Yeah, in the world. Yeah, you're right. Like questions of the world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like in the world. I'm not, I can't, you know. I'm not gonna ask uh, somebody. If I could have one thing in the world. <laughs> just to continue to have my health and to be blessed every day by God. Actually, no. That's true. Um, I would actually wish for, instead of having a force. I'm my health every single day. Amen. Okay, say if I wasn't a Christian, I'd definitely like wish for like to walk with, like to. Like definitely not go to hell because I'm not trying to suffer. Like I'm not trying to suffer because I'm not the best of the people that are suffering. Listen, you're blessed. If you guys could live anywhere in the world, where would it be except for the place that you guys want to move to next in a couple months? Good question. Um, Australia, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I want to meet. I would love to live in Australia. I think we all. It's so beautiful there. I've heard. I seen a picture of Will Smith living there. Oh, man. Oh, you can meet kangaroos. There's a koala in some of his back cabin. Yeah, koalas are normal over there. They're like squirrels. Like, they're like, no, they're like cows and cats for people. No, no. <laughs> they're the dogs. It's so funny. Okay, here we go. Uh, actually, I wouldn't want to live in Alaska. Nah, it's like the koala. It gets cold. It oh, can get real. Some parts can get like below 30 degrees. Like yeah, below negative 30. So this is it so far. It's not your. I'm going pretty fast. I know. <laughs> I'm like halfway done. Oh no, it's hard for me. You like? <laughs> oh my God! I got such big hands. It's hard. <laughs> Oh, man. Is, so well, I just, I'm, I'm, I just wrap it a few good times because once all that candy and it hangs, you don't want it, to, it'll grab it all. My I literally wrap them like seven times. I don't. I, I don't really, really want to just wrap it two times. No, I'm still wrapping it. Yo! Okay, Amber, where do you want to live? Uh, just anywhere warm. That's true. I do want to go visit. I don't, it's not that I want to live anywhere else, but... I do want to continue. I would like to keep traveling the world. Yeah, see I would. the different parts of the world. That's true. I 
have a good question. All right, bud. What's your favorite candy and why? Favorite candy? That is a good question. Um, dang. Actually, let me rephrase that. What would you choose, Snickers or a Reese's Cup? Snickers. Snickers. Snickers has way more in there, mm -hmm. and it's more calories. I mean, calories. Uh, yeah, that's Mondo. That's a good question. <laughs> I know, Amber. That was a good question. What is your favorite candy and why? <laughs> yeah, I just explained mine. <laughs> it got more stuff in it. Comes with way more than just chocolate and peanut butter, and it has way more calories. And I need that. If you're Mexican, you know this is they're called gachadadas or slaps. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like it's candy. It's like a, it's Mexican. Oh! You know what? Speaking of lollipops, that watermelon, this is old watermelon lollipop that I used to get when I was younger. Oh, I was so addicted to those. Um, I'm addicted to... I used to really love those. Um, I really like Butterfingers, and it's because... It's just yellow. Well, I just said, yellow I, I just said why I like the slaps. Because you get to make your own lollipop. It's fun. It's so, okay. what is your favorite TV show? Right, and look at where you're at. Stop! <laughs> you're gonna take all night with your Oh, okay. Um, I gotta say... I already know mine. I don't know, I'm not gonna think about that. The Chosen? Oh, huh. no, I was gonna say You that. really? <laughs> I absolutely, like, the first couple of episodes already had me tearing up. Like, I love that episode. It... Okay, favorite Bible verse? Mm, that's a good one. I got two. I got one. I know it. It's in John. It's John one one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I got two. I got Matthew four four. Man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Because that means a lot. It applies to our lives. You know, no water, no food, no medicine, no no materialistics is gonna get you through life unless it's the word of God. The word of God is the only thing that can get you through life. The only the word of God is the one that's gonna give you eternal life. So. That's one, and then I also, um, Proverbs 3, verse 5, I always say that one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, because our understandings are wrong, and our minds are very deceitful, our feelings are very deceitful, so trust the Lord, trust the Lord. What is yours, babe? It's going to be very basic and general, but it's something I try to live by every day, and it's actually one of the Ten Commandments. Oh, I was going to really? say, yeah. That's not. Live, it, it, it's love, you know, your Lord. Um, have all your, you have all your uh, heart, all your mind, all your body, yep. your mind and your soul. Yep. Amen. Um, and the other one that I really like is that it's important to know. It's not just that I like it. It's just important to know. But is this one here? Is like John three three through seven that you know? Unless you are born again, you cannot you know inherit the kingdom. It's important to know that. Very important. If y'all don't know, John 1 1 is the best verse. I have it on a poster that I made. Phrase over from the Bible. What is it? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I can name like the first. In the beginning was the, the word, word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. God. Yeah, I stick out my head. Another one that I like is uh, Matthew 5 8. Blessed is the pure in heart. Uh, those shall see God. They shall see God. Um, that one means that that one actually has you know makes a big big impact because you know being pure in the heart you know which is following the the footsteps of Christ you know um, being kind being gentle being humble being long suffering you know holy you know those are the ones who shall see God and although we're not all perfect when you walk with Christ when you surrender yourself and submit to the Lord. You know, he, the Holy Spirit guides you. The Holy Spirit is within you. And, you know, it helps you every single day to try to live the most pure, most holy life you can. And when you listen to the Holy Spirit, you are then living pure because you are desiring purity rather than, you know, unpurity. That's the opposite of purity. Impurity. Impurity. Okay, thank you. What's your favorite animal? Horse. My favorite animal? Tiger. It's still a tiger since day one. <laughs> I love tigers. They're, oh, they're just so beautiful. Like God is just so like, like he is such a powerful, mighty, intelligent, knowledgeable, like creative 
Tigers are just amazing. Like, have you ever really looked at a tiger? Their eyes, their teeth, their claws, and their stripes. Like, they're just so beautiful. They are just so beautiful. I love tigers so much. Yeah, I love horses. That's true. So, as y'all can see, I'm almost done with mine. I'm not. Yeah, you can see a lot in your water. Uh-huh. That's why you push your king over there. No, I do. I like this. Yeah. Raw, 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 damn, bam, and these. Every time the beat drop. Mm, 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 mm. Super simple to make. Um, like I said, just go to well, like she said, like we all said, go to like Walmart, just buy bags. You interrupted my whole beginning intro. But yeah, it's super fun. I hope you guys, you know, definitely try it out. Oh, oh, we're gonna. Oh, I see what we're doing now. We're gonna add a little bit of. Uh, yeah, Amber, can you help me finish? Oh, no, 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 no. So this is gonna be, you know, good when you add the little sock right here, little sock monster. The little sock, you can stuff candy inside of it too. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put one of these little ribbons. <laughs> well, you can decorate it however you want. Um, I'm probably just gonna use. Oh, He's oh. like, that was kind of funny, right? I'm like, sure. My thing, yeah. I'm like. Wow, it's super windy out. So I'm gonna come with a close up. This is mine's right here. Y'all, this um, is what happens if you got, got a little bow. Hands. It's pretty nice. You gotta take forever, like me. <laughs> okay, it's alright. Mm, 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 mm. mm, Get silly, get silly, get silly, get silly, get uh, uh, get silly, get silly, uh, uh. <laughs> Let me stop. So this is a close up. This is how how she's doing it. She's actually doing the mints right now. But we're going to show you the other reefs when they're all done. All said and done. So yeah, look at all the candy. So we're going to be doing a candy giveaway. So make sure you smack that like. I'm just joking. No, no, no. If you really want some free candy, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. We love you, Jesus, if you want to win candy. Exactly. Comment down below. We love you, Jesus, if you want some candy. We'll, we'll buy you any type of candy you want. Any type. Like, we'll buy you this one. Right, this one. We'll buy you this one. You know why we're saying we'll buy you these? Because we already have them and I'm not spending no more money on you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are finally done. Um, we got all of them back together. We had to wait like an extra five hours. Stop! <laughs> <Mama>! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but seriously, we, uh, this was awesome. This was very fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and I hope you guys really learned something. But these are all the ones that are done. Yeah, I'll go them close up. So yeah. There's one. That's hers. This is Amber's. I did too, because she did too. Yeah. Little one. Um, <laughs> and then this is the, the man's channels. The man's channels. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's very easy to do. Um, I really like this one. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, be careful with the wire because you will stab yourself. I stab myself a few times. So yes, these are the beautifulness. Oh, I'm about to slide. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> but anyways. 
I'll see you guys in the well, we'll all see you in the next video. We're gonna be coming out with the gingerbread challenge, so make sure you smack the like button. Slice that subscribe, like slice I'm talking Turn about. Turn on your post notifications so you can find out every time we post. See you guys in the next video. God bless every single one of you. Bye!